Today we will be, sh be showing you how to take a quantity takeoff on a simple spread footing. This video was produced by Sean, Travis, and Trevor for Meade's 302W CM class at NAU 2014. First thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our plan view. We're going to kind of see what we got identified. We got some footings around the perimeter, a few different call outs for footing types. We've also got some post columns. Uh, and then we've got the overall slab we've got to do. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start colorizing our callouts uh, by type so we can identify all the different types of footings in this plan. Uh, this is going to help us later when we're figuring out what quantities uh, for how many linear feet of which type we got. There's also some additional callouts we're going to highlight here in a second that give additional details dimension-wise to the details that these callouts represent. This one is F, WF1, WF2, CF1, CF2. Also the overall slab is going to be four inches thick. So here we're looking at the details. We're going to go ahead and color each of these to match what we've already drawn on the plan view. This is just going to help us keep track of everything that we're doing. Now if you notice, each of these details says not to scale on them. So uh, we're not going to be pulling dimensions off this, but this will be pulling our general shape. We're doing dug footings on this, so by looking at this we can determine how much Maybe extra concrete we need is it's not going to be a wood form. So there's going to be a little extra concrete and a little excavation on each of these. We also want to exclude things we're not doing. Oh, Sean marked the wrong spot right here. Sorry about that. We are not providing the CMU. So we're going to exclude that from our takeoff. Let's make a little note. And you can see all these are different shapes. We've got different rebar layouts. We're going to categorize all this here shortly. So we know that we're going to start with one type. We're going to go to our callouts. We see from our legend and our additional notes tells us the overall dimensions of each of these. And that's going to be really useful for figuring out our volumes. It also gives us details on the amount of rebar we need. So that's going to be helpful as well. So starting with uh, perimeter footing, we have length, depth, width. We have our margin of error and then our concrete and... So yeah, to make a little north note, so you can see that's the north wall, which we're going to start with. So it's got a length of 38 from our chart. It's got a depth of 0.67 and a width of 1.33. We're doing a margin error of 10%, so that's 1.1. When you do the math, it's going to give us a cubic feet of 37.6, which is a cubic yards of 1.38. Now we're going to go ahead and do this for all of our walls, but for the sake of brevity, we are going to skip that, and now the other way, dude. Cross it out. Cross it out. There you go. Much better. Okay, we're going to do that for all the walls. And spare you all the math, we'll give you the total for cubic yards of our footing on the perimeter of the main slab. It's going to be 5.65. Now, this doesn't count the patio. This doesn't count the overall slab thickness, but we just want to kind of show you the idea of what's going on here before we move on. So next we're going to go ahead and look at rebar. So rebar and in the same general foundation notes right there it tells you how much rebar you got. So we got two pieces of number four per foot and we've got a total length around that uh, perimeter footing of a hundred and something or the other. Hold on, give us a second doing some math in the background here. 156 linear feet. We also have some horizontal mem horizontal members that we'll add to this in a minute, but for now we know that just around that perimeter it's going to be 2 times 156 and then we got 0.83 feet per foot based on the call out again at 156 feet. So with these two lengths we know 
in a second. What? So we're doing math off screen again. We got 312 plus 100 and something or the other. 130 linear feet. So that's how much rebar we need just for that one section. Now you're going to go ahead and continue to do this for each detail and for each section of the slab. You know, and you're going to put it into a spreadsheet. It's a little neater than this. It's going to look like this. So you go ahead and tally it all up, and then you can see at the very bottom you got your totals, 63.29 and and such. So some other things to consider is once you've got these primary dimensions down, you can think about your excavations, you can think about how much form work you need. All those numbers are going to be related to each other. But the first and important thing is just break it into pieces. Look at what you're trying to actually accomplish. Record each step. Mark down what you've already done and then get it into an Excel spreadsheet. So uh, at the bottom of the link, we're going to include the PDF, a link to the PDFs for those drawings, as well as the spreadsheet we made, so you can look at them more closely if you'd like. And thanks for watching, and have a great day.